and welcome to another empties video. I'm going to probably do a mixture of soft spoken and whispered. And the first half of this video is going to be here on YouTube and then the second half will be on Patreon. Sorry, there's a bit of water there because I just had a shower. I've been a bit absent recently because I'm in my final year of uni and it's just really, really full on at the moment. So um, I just haven't had the time to film. Um, I've been doing a lot of uni work and then when I'm not doing uni work I'm too shattered to film a video, so. I've got a bit of tea left here. And yeah, I've got old nail polish I haven't done my nails in a really long time they're kind of a bit of a mess because I've obviously been chewing them because I'm stressed <laughs> okay so as always I'm just going to go through a few things that I have used up over the last few months and make some relaxing hopefully sounds with them so the first thing I've got is my Dove Derma Spa Summer Revived Face Cream in medium to dark. Obviously I'm not medium to dark, I'm very pale, but um, I find that the medium to dark actually isn't that dark, so at least on me I don't know why, but it's quite subtle. And this is my favourite um, face cream, well it's my favourite tanning face cream. I've been using it not quite a year yet, I think it's going to be a year this summer um, and it's just been the best I've ever used because I used to use, I think it was Saint-Tropez or Saint-Tropez or whatever it's called um, years ago and then that I kind of <laughs> had a reaction to it where I put a load of the Saint-Tropez um, cream on my face and um, I woke up the next morning and my face, one, it was bright orange and two, it had swelled up, like my eyes were swollen, my entire face was swollen. Um, so yeah, I think I was allergic to it. It's weird because I've been using it for a while before that actually happened. That was back when I was in sick form college and I had to go into college with a bright orange swollen face. I've had a lot of fake tan and hair dye and haircut disasters in my life. Okay. I've been hanging on to these for ages, so I'm looking forward to actually chucking them away soon. The next two things are shampoo and conditioner by Rhyme and Reason. And I probably won't repurchase these. They smell nice but they didn't really make my scalp feel that nice. I lean more towards having a drier scalp versus an oily scalp so I like things to be quite moisturising. This one is Quench and Curl Conditioner for curly, coily and textured hair. My hair's not curly. It's wavy. Um... And it says blended with shea butter, desert peach, and ceramides. So this is the conditioner. And then I have the matching shampoo view. It's a bit. It's a bit wet, I just took it out of my bathroom. Rhyme and reason. Okay. Next is not really that exciting, but it is some toothpaste. Colgate Total. 
of complete protection for a healthy mouth. We just tend to get whichever toothpaste is the cheapest, whatever's on offer. So we don't like have a favourite one. This one was fine. I like the flavour of Aquafresh. Aquafresh is my favourite flavour to toothpaste. And as you can see, we really got all of it out. We were using it until the very end. Another shampoo and conditioner it is the head and shoulders ones. So um, I don't normally get head and shoulders um, conditioner. Um, and this is the first time I've got it, I think. And it, sorry if that's a bit loud. Um, it was fine. Like I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. It was. I just got it because it was cheap. Can't really remember what it smelled like. It smells like, it smells, I guess, argan oil. It says argan oil, argan and coconut oil. It doesn't have like a super strong scent. Head and shoulders, supreme moisture. Yeah, it was fine. Um, I'd, I'd get it again. Um, it was on sale. Okay, and then the the um shampoo. Now I actually like the Apple Fresh one, this is just the classic clean. I don't hate it, but the smell is like not my favourite smell. It still smells nice, but I just really like the apple fresh scent. So. I probably wouldn't get this again. I just prefer the apple one. Actually, it's quite nice though. It's very clean smelling. Mm. I love a fresh, clean scent. I think I'll use uh, grab one more thing, and then the rest I'll do on Patreon. So, mm. I guess I will show. This is the one I like. It's the Head and Shoulders um, Apple Fresh. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. It's like um, it smells like apple sweets. It's one of those scents that's really. everything um, I was going to show you. Um, I'm going to start filming the Patreon video in a second. Thank you for sticking around during my absence on YouTube. Um, I will be finished with the uni this year forever, or at least unless I decide to go back and do more, but probably won't because I can't afford to do that for a long time. Um, I'm currently doing an undergraduate degree, so I've got government loans for that. Um, then when it comes to postgraduate here, you can get a government loan, but it doesn't necessarily cover the whole cost, so I would have to save up. Um, so yeah, I won't be doing that for a while. Also, I just need a break. I need a break from studying. And I need to.
I really like, actually, I really like um, studying. I wasn't like um, one of the super clever straight A kids at school by any means, but as I've gotten older, I've started to really enjoy studying more than I did back then. I guess it's because I've been able to choose the subject that I actually enjoy. My tea's got a bit cold. Well, thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video. Hopefully I'll do a groceries haul soon. Um, we haven't done any big grocery hauls for a while so I just haven't been able to film anything. Um, we've mostly just been picking up bits and bobs like